it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a year or so since I last uploaded. I moved for school, for college I guess, and I just never ever ever had time for YouTube and I know that's a poor excuse but I just kind of gave up on it. But I am done with school. I am working full time so I will try to find more time for YouTube. I don't know how many times I'll be uploading but I will try my hardest but I'm so glad to be back and today I'm doing kind of like a chit chat get ready with me I'm going to a Thanksgiving kind of party thing tonight so I will be doing hair and makeup it's nothing too crazy with my hair I just straightened it and whatever but it's I'll, I'll show you how I do it I guess <laughs> it's just kind of this really pretty fall look just because it is Thanksgiving soon so yeah so I hope you like it and if you want to see how I do my hair and makeup then just keep watching Okay, so I'm just gonna clip back my hair so it's out of my face. It's so weird to be filming again. I missed it a lot. I mean, I had a lot of people ask me, they're like, are you gonna keep making makeup videos? I'm like, I don't know. It's just, it was so hard to find time during school. Um, it'll be pretty challenging still since I'm working full time, but I will do the best that I can. I mean, I get two days off during the week, so I will be able to maybe film one day and then upload the next and whatever, but, um, yeah, it was really hard during school because I'd be at school from 8 to 5 and then I'd be at work from 5.30 to 9, so there was like no free time at all. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to start by prepping my face with the professional primer. Um, I, I don't mind this primer at all. I mean, I think it works only good with some prime or um, some foundations because I did try it with I think it was the Maybelline Fit Me one, and I don't know, I felt like it broke up really bad, but maybe that was the foundation. And I'm kind of sad because I don't, because I do wear like makeup every day at work, I don't do like really fun eyeshadow looks that often just because it gets like to be a lot. I feel like I'm using up so much makeup, but we're taking so much time like I've mastered doing my makeup in like 15 minutes <laughs> but um I'm excited to like get back into it I've gotten a lot of new makeup recently so I'm excited to start using that um I forgot to wet my beauty blender so I'll be right back all right I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundation um I'm in the shade 1N1 Ivory Nude I ordered this online and I was like really scared because I hate ordering foundations online because you never know your shade but this came and it was like a perfect match I mean it it's maybe a little bit um yellow tone for me but it's not bad eh. I just recently got like the huge be um beauty sponge from real techniques and it's humongous like here's the regular size here's this one it's like you get the job done <laughs> Is anybody else into like ASMR videos? Like it doesn't like give me tingles or anything, but I like watching the eating ones. I think it's just because I'm so interested in what they're eating. I always watch, um, I think it's SAS ASMR, like SAS. She always has such yummy looking food and it makes me so hungry. The most recent one I watched was um, her eating mochi and I've never had mochi in my life, but it looked so good. So yeah, the shade is not that bad. I mean, it matches pretty well, so I'm happy. And I usually always use the um, Shape Tape Concealer, but I'm like, I kind of want to find like a more budget-friendly concealer that isn't so expensive, because like the Shape Tape is, what, 25, 28 or something? So I tried the Catrice Liquid Camouflage one. And so far, so good. I mean, it's not like my absolute favorite favorite. It doesn't beat the shape tape, but it's not bad. The first couple times I used it, though, it made my skin burn, like, underneath my eyes. I'm like, okay, it's kind of burning, but my skin just must have been really sensitive from something, because now it doesn't do it, but... The same thing happened with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I always it still to this day burns my under eye and like it's so weird not any like other part of my face but just the under eye 
So I guess this is kind of like a chit chat, like get ready with me because I'm going to a friend's giving thing at my friend's house, so that'll be kind of fun. So at the moment, I am working at a salon that just does haircuts because I went to hair school. That's kind of why I stopped doing YouTube for a while, just because it was really hard to kind of do all that. But um, so yeah, now I work at a, it's a Great Clips. You maybe have one around your area or maybe not, but um, I never thought I'd work at a place like that, but I receptioned there during school and I ended up kind of like really liking what they had to offer. And in school, I ended up not really liking doing color as much as I thought, so that's kind of what brought me there and it's kind of cool that I'm um, able to work at 19 years old you know a lot of people can't do that like work like my career you know not just like a little job like I'm making pretty good money so it's cool and I also do like hair and makeup um, for weddings and proms on the side, try to do that on the, on the weekends and whatnot, and that's what I absolutely love to do. And I also got glasses since my last video, and I got a nose ring. I just feel like I kind of did a lot to chop my hair, and I feel like I just needed like some kind of change in my life, you know. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. Just put that under my eyes and then what I like to do is I kind of put this down and then I do take my shape tape just to add a little bit more. I take this and I just put it kind of right here. This is almost gone. And it's a little bit lighter so it kind of brightens it up too. I'm going to add a little bit here. I don't like to use the shape tape though like on my chin to highlight because for some reason... Sorry, I keep opening that. Um, For some reason it's like really breaks up bad around my chin so I try to just use it under my under eye I'm trying to hurry up because my boyfriend gets off work in like 45 minutes so and I hate filming when he's here <laughs> well I do live with my boyfriend I don't know if I said that um we've been dating for two years but I've known him my whole life so some people are like you're living with your boyfriend I guess it just makes life a whole lot easier I don't care what anybody says we do very well together so I've been contemplating whether or not to um, get those microfiber beauty sponges those things look awesome but we'll see if any of you have tried them comment down below whether you like them or not well, now I'm taking the fit me loose powder it's my absolute favorite powder I don't really bake but I do Put like a good amount on and just I don't know I kind of just leave it I guess but I kind of just like blend it in and I just use that to set my under eyes my eyelids and then kind of everywhere I put the concealer and my chin because I crease really bad on my chin funny story I was on Ipsy and they had like this deal for a Clinique foundation so I ordered the liquid foundation and they sent me the powder so now I'm stuck with it. I mean I could have sent it back but I hate sending stuff back so I just I'm sucking it up but this is in the shade um, 6 Ivory and it's just the powder foundation. I'm not really sure if there's like a specific name. Oh here. Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation. And I just use this to just kind of set everywhere else. I usually never use like an actual powder foundation to set my face but since I have it I'm like trying to use it up <laughs> but I was really curious on what the um Clinique liquid foundation was like I was excited for that but we'll never know unless I buy it I guess <laughs> I was like Ugh. I'm trying to find my go-to foundation and I'm like I don't want to spend an arm and a leg for foundation but I was like I kind of want to try the Estee Lauder one so so for eyebrows I use the wet n wild retractable brow pencil but it's kind of like more of like a brow definer thing it's kind of angled i don't know if you can see it but um i just use the spoolie on this first and i'll come back to it after i use my um anastasia beverly hills pomade and it's just the 
in the shade blonde. I ordered the taupe one thinking that it would be more like blondy taupe. I don't know. And it was really dark, so I had to take that back and um, get the blonde one. But even the blonde is kind of dark. Like, it's not that light. Like, if you're any lighter than me, I don't know what you would use. Because even, even this is dark. I'll do one eyebrow, and you guys can kind of see what it, how I do it, and then I'll do the other one off camera, because it's pretty boring. So I use that, and then I, um, Spoolie it out, make sure the product's dispersed everywhere, and then I have a bald spot, like, right in here, so sometimes I take this, it's a little bit easier to kind of get in there, and I try to fill it in, and then I take this and just kind of create some little things right up front there, but I don't do too much with this anymore, this used to be my all-time favorite, but not so much anymore, and then I like to take a concealer and a car out my brows as well I used to think this was so pointless but after you start doing it it's like you're hooked <laughs> and sometimes I do try to do this before I set my face with powder but I forgot and I mostly just do it underneath if I really feel like I got messy then I'll go on top but mostly just underneath and then I set that with the NYX Control Freak um, eyebrow gel. I used to use the Anastasia one, but again, I'm trying to find like dupes that aren't so expensive. <laughs> but, oh, I almost just put that on my other eyebrow. Haven't even done it yet. But, so yeah, that's my eyebrows. It's nothing too crazy. I don't do anything super dramatic, but still there's a difference. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so I, I forgot to mention um, what brush I was using for my eyebrows. It's just from Morphe. It's the M165. And it's just like a nice angled eyebrow. But the reason why I like it is because it's not too thick. Because I've tried some where they're like really thick. So this one's just nice and thin. That you can kind of get those hair-like strokes. Um, and then it, to carve my brows, I use the Morphe um, M421. This is also good for um, doing a cut crease with concealer. So I like that one as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to bronzing and contouring. Um, I just go in with my Benefit Parade Cheek Parade palette and I just take the Hula bronzer. And then I'm going to use that with my Morphe M527. And I don't, I'm not too like precise where I put this. I just kind of want to warm up the face and then I'll go in and contour with something else. So, so for contour, I am going to take the part part the Tarte Pro Glow palette um, and then I'm just gonna take the one contour shade and sculpt there is one cream contour and I haven't I've used it once to try contouring my nose but I don't know I I'm not a huge cream contour fan but so yeah I'm gonna take the sculpt color and I just like to take that on this Sonia Kashuk brush there's no like number or oh number 18 so and I'm just going to use this to get a, mo a more defined cheek, I guess. And I kind of try to start at the like top of my ear and aim towards the corner of my mouth. I mean, I don't go all the way down, but that's kind of my guideline. And then I just take a little bit and do the tops of my forehead. And next, I'm going to take just this brush that I got from um, Ipsy. It's a Luxie brush number 207. It's just like an angled shading brush. I think it's for your eyes, but I use it for my nose. <laughs> and then I just do a little bit on each side. Nothing too much. I hate my nose, but I feel like contouring won't help it at all. So it won't help it as much as I'd wish. But <laughs> I just kind of do a little bit and then I do a little bit at the tip. Just to kind of carve it a little bit, I guess. For blush, I'm going to go in with this Morphe Trio. Um, 
It just says blush trio. I don't think there's like a... Oh, pop of rose is what it's called. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe M105. It's a blush brush. It's a little bit too compact for me, I think, sometimes, but it's not bad. So I'm just going to mix these two, tap it off. Oh, and it sheds. That's great. For highlights, I'm going to go in with the balm, the, I never can say this, the, um, Manizer Sisters, the Manizer Sisters. I was going to say Manizer, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go in with the Mary Lou Manizer shade. Because that's, I don't know, that one's too pink, that one's too dark. So I don't know why I got this palette. I should have just got the one shade, but it's okay. Sometimes I use this as like a blush topper or, or just as a blush, but it's a little bit too shimmery, I feel like. But um, I'm going in with this brush that I got from Ipsy. I'm not really sure what it's called but it's pretty cute it's like sparkly pink I don't know but I don't like like a like a lot of highlight on my cheeks I don't know I, I do have texture and so it just doesn't look very good whoops so after the face is mostly all done um I like to set it with the morphe continuous setting mist this is like my all-time favorite <laughs> And this just kind of, I feel like it kind of like soaks in the powder into my face so that my face doesn't look so powdery. Alright, so now I'm going to use one of the Vault Collection palettes from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. Hmm. I kind of want to do something fall, folly, I guess, because it's like Thanksgiving soon. I'll maybe use some of these darker shades today, but this one's really pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it today. We'll see. And then my favorite is the Armed and Gorgeous. I feel like I use this one most often. I really like these orange and yellows. And then I love this one for um, highlighting my inner corner. Alright, so I think I'm going to start the look off with the Armed and Gorgeous. I think I'll just go in with um, this yellowy, orangey shade right here. It's called Axis, so I'll probably use that. Just as kind of some kind of tr transition. I'm just using this brush I got from Ipsy a long time ago by Scone Cosmetics. It's just a blending brush it says. No number or anything. I, with my transition I'm never really like, I just, I don't care, I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. But okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this Smooth Criminal color, the one I was talking about earlier. And I'm gonna take that on my Morphe M441. I'm just going to kind of pack this on the outer corner and then slowly start to blend it up into the crease. I want most of the color to be on the outer part of my lid though. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to take my Morphe E14. It's just like this packing brush. I don't know. I use it a lot for just like right and just to pack it right there. I'm going to go in with the Bling Boss palette now and then I'm going to go in with this mystic color. It's like a really dark plum shade. And I'm just going to pack this and deepen this up more. And I'm not going to blend with this brush. I'm just using this to pack the color on. And now I'm just going to go in with this Ipsy brush. Um, 135 Precise Blending. It's just a little bit more denser than other blending brushes but I just want to use this to ever so lightly just kind of flick it out and then if you feel like you kind of lose your transition shade because I do want it you to notice that I have yellow you can always just go back in there and add some more and just help blend out the shade that you were trying to blend out I guess This is a really nice purple. I mean, it kind of blends it out to where it's like almost gone, but I'd rather have it do that than you not be able to blend it out, out at all and it looks patchy, so. Cause you can always just go back in with more if you feel like you kind of lost some of it. But I'm just gonna put a little bit more purple back in. Okay. 
I think now I'm gonna take that same packing brush, kind of wipe some of that. You know what I love to use? I got this, um, this like swatch thing. So like if you wanna go in with a different shade, you just like rub your brush in it and it gets all the excess powder off. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go in with this Rockstar shade. It's just a little bit more pinky purple, I guess. It's not so dark. This is the one I used before, so. And I'm gonna take that and just put it closer to the center of my lid. So there's kind of like a gradient. Yeah, that's pretty. So if you feel like you lose some of that depth on the outside, just go back in with that dark shade again. I feel like this side kind of lost it a little bit. I think now I'm going to take Ballsy. I think, yeah, I'm gonna take Ballsy, which is this one, and I'm gonna wet my, well, I'm gonna take, pick up the product first, and then I'm gonna wet my brush with the setting mist. And I'm just gonna place that in the inner corner. I'm not gonna take it too far in. And if you want to make it more intense, you can definitely do like more of a cut crease, like cut it with a concealer and then go in with that. But I don't want, like I said, I don't want it to be too much of an intense look. So I'm just going to blend this out a little bit now. So now I'm going to do the under eye and I'm going to take my Morphe M138. And it's just like a really tiny, like pencil-ish looking brush, I guess. And I'm going to go in with a really dark mystic shade, the first plum shade we use. And I'm going to put that just kind of on the outer corner. I'm going to kind of mimic what we did on top and just kind of do the same on the bottom. Okay, so once you have the under eye on, I'm just going to take just like a little fluffy pencil brush. And I'm going to go in with that yellow shade again. And I'm going to kind of use that to blend all the underneath shades out. Of connect everything I'm not gonna do a lot to just to kind of connect them I guess some people really like to bring their lower lash line at, down far but today I'm not gonna all right so for my inner corner I'm going to go in with the Morphe M431 and then go in with that VIP shade that I was talking about. And I'm going to place that right there. And I'm actually going to spray my brush for this one as well. Just to really make it intense. Oh boy. That's real intense. That might be a bad idea. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to do any eyeliner. I think I'm just going to go in with... Um, a dark shade right above my lash line. I don't want to make it any darker than it already is, so I'm going to go in with the Morphe E, I think it's 3-3, it's wearing off, so I'm not quite sure if that's right, but I think I'm going to go in with Prowl. It's that dark shade in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. <clears throat> and I'm just going to place that right above my lash line. It's just going to create like a look that I have eyeliner, if that makes sense, but I don't. <laughs> all right, so now that I have all the eyeshadow done, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, but before I do that, I'm just gonna curl my lashes a little bit. I usually never curl them, just cause I have like already naturally curled eyelashes, but recently I've been curling them like extra. <laughs> And this mascara, I don't know, I always seem to get it on my eye, like my lid. So I really try to take my, see, and then it's hard to get off. This stuff smears so bad. Okay, so the little bit I got on my lid, I'm going to let it dry. 
and then wipe it with a q-tip because if I do it now it's just gonna smear it so all right so now I'm gonna take just like a little bit of um, my Maybelline baby lips chapstick and I'm just gonna put a little bit on just because my lips are super chapped and then take my Milani um, lip lip liner in all natural I've had this forever it's getting like really tiny now I'm just gonna line my lips and I don't overline really that much I know a lot of people do but and then for my lip color I'm gonna use this twisted kisses matte lip pencil I got it from ipsy just recently but it's in the shade kiss me twice And then I'm gonna go in with Bare Minerals, the Marvelous Moxie Little Lip Glosses in the shade Charmer. And I'm just gonna kinda put this right in the middle. It's a pretty light shade, so I just kinda wanted to brighten it up right in the middle. All right, and that is it for lipstick. Now I'm gonna start doing my hair. I didn't really know if I wanted to do my hair for sure or not, but I think I'm gonna because it's kind of a mess. <laughs> it is so difficult for me to style my short hair. I usually just try to curl it with my wand or straighten it, but like I want to do like fun hairstyles, so I think I'm gonna try to find some and then do a video on that just for you other short haired people. So I'm just gonna section my hair. I don't I only do two sections usually. Then I'll part it down the middle back here and then go from there. And then the hair straightener that I will be using today I got from school. It's my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools one. Um, it has like options to go higher or lower with the heat. I usually go with 360. It's kind of a low setting from what people usually do, but I know what my hair can handle. So I'm just going to take a section in the back. I'm going to make sure that it's really straight. Like straight as in like... There's no like lumps or anything. Hot. And when I straighten my hair, just for how short my hair is, if I just pull it out like this, it starts to kind of get like flippy at the end. So I like to kind of bevel it under. I used to think beveling it under was so ugly, but now I do it. <laughs> and what you do is you kind of go straight and then you just kind of curl your um, flat iron under at the very end. And I normally can just go over my hair um, once. I don't usually have to do it twice unless my hair is really frizzy and crazy. But this is my natural hair. It's just kind of, it's not straight, but it's not curly. It's just kind of got a wave. It's got weird kinks in it. So, so it just makes it very smooth and polished compared to this side, as you can see. And then I'm just going to take pieces in the back and make sure that there's no lumps back there. And I'm still kind of trying to do the beveled under as well. Alright. Ouch. So I think I'm going to go with a middle part today. I usually switch it up, so... So I kind of went to hair school to, I don't know it's called hair school, but cosmetology school, I guess I could say. Because um, you learn like hair, skin, nails, like everything. Um, I was kind of hoping to learn a little bit more makeup, but I was so upset when we spent one day on makeup. I was like, one day? One day, that's literally learning nothing. And it wasn't even really makeup, it was just like learning different face shapes. And... Um, Figuring out like where you would contour for a square face or whatever, which it was helpful, whatever But we Didn't really go over like different kinds of makeup or any of that So anyways, my point in this Rant I guess is I didn't learn as much makeup as I was hoping at school 
and you know what I usually like before school I learned everything from YouTube and I kind of taught ouch and I kind of taught myself anyways so all right so that is my hair straightened and now I'm just gonna take some I think it's called Oribe Oribe something dry text texturizing spray at first I thought this was a dry shampoo but it's just like a texturizing spray because my hair is freshly clean so and then I'm just gonna take my comb and just and just do a little bit of that combing to add some volume, but not too much. It'll usually fall out by the end of the day anyways, but... The end of the night, I should say. And then I'm just gonna take my Matrix Style Fixer Finishing Hairspray. It's a pretty strong hold, but I don't use too much of it. I just kind of spray it once and then mess it up and call it good but I like this hairspray for updates just because it does have a stronger hold but um all right so this completes my hair and makeup kind of chit chat get ready with me I guess um I'm glad to be back I really did miss YouTube a lot um so hopefully I can kind of get back into it and find time to film and edit and upload and all that so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, whatever. If you didn't like it, then sorry. <laughs> but thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!